For eons, I was a dead pro- Okay, seriously, that's how you start treating me? <sighs> Curse these nimble, stupid, feeble hands. Anyways, as I was saying, for eons, I was the first female prime. Or even female transformer in the first place. For eons, I was indisposed because of my love wherever he is. Over time, I started to realize there was more to his betrayal than I thought. More to be realized. And it was so that the fallen, I began to wonder, could I forgive him for what he's done? Okay, what the heck? You got You are not my husband. And there goes the hand again. Called sweetie. There you are, you son of a bitch. Sorry. What now? Let's not speak of what just happened. Agreed. What's up, YouTubers? One and all, my name is Fate1987. And today we are taking a look at the new age. Yes, this is a brand new uh, mini mini uh, legend scale thing. New age 48s Sith, aka Soulless Prime. Now she is actually a retool of the RC mold. As such, that's why she looks a little sexy. Um, she does have the four to Soulless Prime, and uh. Yeah, girls get it done. Let's get it out of the box. Uh, alright, alright. So, this is what came inside, and uh, these are the instructions, and... Oh, wow! Okay, I like these instructions, wow! And uh, she comes in vehicle mode, and the stuff is there. That's literally it. So, let's get her open and see how cool she actually is. After three fucking months, I'm finally doing this one. As well as the other two. <sighs> so the unboxing, as you would have realized by now, is in fact three months ago. I have not actually reviewed this figure until now. This is the New Age Soulless Prime. Or Sif, which yet, like, I already did the unboxing beginning review, but like, this is essentially the figure, and I like it for what it, I, I like it for what it is. It's a bit complicated, but you know what? Primes can be like that sometimes. It's basically a remold slash retool slash, I, I don't know exactly, but it's essentially a remold, retool, and repaint of the. New Age RC mold, essentially. That's literally what this is. Also, tiny ass hands. So, I mean, if you want, you could theoretically. I mean, it does roll, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. This is her forge. I really do like it, again. And uh, as you can see, I have the other forge. And you'll find out some freaky stuff about this as well. Beside the comparison, we're going to bring in some cores, or a core class, for example. We're going to bring in RC from Rise of the Beasts. And lately, I've been changing my mind about this one, slightly. It's 
kind of good lately. Uh, we're going to bring in Tarn. Uh, he's going to be important for a later for review, just so you know. I'm going to bring in Nemesis Prime. Because, again, I've had him for three months as well, and I still haven't fucking done a review for him. Finally, he's here, and finally going to do a review, because I'm done sitting on my ass for these reviews. I'm going to... I took the wrong character off the screen. What the fuck? Here he is next... To, no, not he, she. Here she is next to... Um, Ultra Magnus. Next to Megatron. Next to Optimus. Next to Alita. Next to Prime RC, aka Chromia. Next to Slipstream. Let's bring in let's bring in a deluxe class Megatron, cause why not? I don't know. I, I I just did it for the hell of it. Uh, we're gonna bring in Bulkhead because was that's like no, don't bring in Bulkhead. That's that's only for for the issue here. Due to like the similarity of the vehicle mode and whatnot. Uh, Scourge. Why not? Cause uh, he's a freaking Unicronian compared to her. So there's that, I guess. And uh, oh yeah. Last but not least. The Fallen, who I will also be finally reviewing and not sitting on my ass on this one for once. So there's that. I've already reviewed her instructions, and we kind of already gone over things, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Alright, to transform Solus, it is a lot more trickier than you expect. First, you're going to need to come around here, and if it hasn't done already, flip these out, and... Flip the legs out. Alright, that's the first thing. Next thing is you're going to need to turn the feet around. So they are like this. And then shift them backwards. Just slightly. And that creates the feet. You might be wondering, is that it? No, that's not it. You're going to split the legs and you're going to bring this flat back. And you're going to leave that like that for now. You're going to come around here to the front. Focus. My god. This, this can become a little tricky. So first you're going to want to slide these upwards, I guess. Give you a little more relief room. And just fold this back, I guess. Fold it up. And this is where a lot of the complicated stuff come in. So first... You're going to need to essentially bring out the body. And how you do that is you're going to need to essentially push all of this forward. Bring the head up as essentially all of this, well, not all of this actually, is going to end up spinning around 180. And it's a little hard to do, especially if you got, since this is clearly one of those figures where you're going to have clearance issues. I suggest now would be a good time to, you know, fold the head down entirely. And just have it encompass all of that. And one, I love the freaking hair. But we'll get to that in a moment. You're going to fold this all the way down. And this can be a little tricky. It's, it, it is a small figure. You're dealing with a lot of multi, multiple parts. Uh, once you have these down... You can essentially start to bring these parts up. It's 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 a it's a it's a mess. I tell you, I'm sorry, but it's a good mess because 
you gotta have to learn instructions correctly. Also, shift this up so it's in place. Bring the arms down. And then you're going to... That's where it gets a little more tricky. You're going to need to make, please, make essentially make sure that this is basically all the way shifted in. You can fold the shoulder pauldrons down. And that's literally the front half of the robot. Now let's go for the back half. Um, because all of this is pushed in now, this is essentially what's going to happen. You're going to bring this part up. This little bit right here is going to clip into... Well, it's supposed to. Because you got to shift it upwards, but, uh... Well, actually, you got to push it inwards a little bit as well. You got to make sure it's aligned properly, so that can clip there. And then this essentially just sits like that. Do the same thing on the side. Make sure you have this shifted up. Make sure you have that pushed in just a little bit, just so that can click into place. Push that in. And then you're going to come around and you're going to bring the arms in. Or the hands. Because you get that to detach them for robot mode. And for vehicle mode. Also, make sure this is this flap is flapped all the way back. Um, so, once all of that is aligned back there, you're going to bring in the... Right fist, which is with the forge. And it can be a little pain in the ass to put, to put it in, but it's doable. And then, of course, just a regular flailed left hand, because there's... No other hands besides that, sadly. It's just two pairs of hands instead of the three that Iron Factory does, which kind of shows the difference between the two things. But there is New Age Sif, a.k.a. Soulless Prime, in her robot mode. And I gotta say, I am loving it. And also, I'm glad I didn't do this Devin review with Devin, because otherwise I would be distracted to hell from the moment that I would do it. Like, I know, Devin, you love the Primes, but... Especially Soulless, but here... I think I have to say that those reviews... You better save it for something like a build review or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, she can be a little tricky to stand up, in truth. Let me just have her stand up the best she can. And her hand will always be falling off. I'm sorry, but... That is a gist here, like, that is something I do not like about this figure, is that her hands will fall off. But, there you go. And, let's take a quick look at her noggin. And she has red eyes. And hair. Like, actual hair. That is beautiful, honestly. That really is. And here we have the god herself, Solus. Yeah, this is gonna get annoying pretty quickly. Sorry, but it really is. Yeah, here we go. This is Solus, and as you can tell, she is nothing like Iron Factory, where they are, well, You can see what I mean. First of all, but we're gonna like, save that for later. We're not that's not a full five comparison, but that was just something. Now she for for what she is, essentially a retool, repaint, and I don't know what else for um for RC, it's really looking good. I mean she has hair, like I said before, but god damn. 
And uh, let's go over articulation. So her head can go 360. Her arms can technically go 360 if you push it enough. They cannot go that far out. Uh, they are on a 360 elbow and then a double joint. Nothing for the hands. Waist rotation, 360. Ab crunch. An ab crunch. Do you have that phone? Do you have an ab crunch? No, you do not. That is something you gotta work on, boy. That is something you gotta work on. She has an ab crunch. Also, if you move this flap, her loincloth, she can kick forward that far. She can kick back that far. And can you do, yeah, you can do the full splits as well. Legs are on 360. They can bend that much. She says she has like double jointed legs. God, you're you're fucking athletic. What the hell? And her forge fell off again. Speaking of forges, she comes with a second hand like this, so we're just gonna take this off. Pop it off the side. We're gonna bring in the second hand, and then we're gonna bring in the second forge. The second forge is, as you guessed it, from Ultra Magnus from, from Beast Hunter's Commander class. And quite and despite the fact that it isn't it it's just a it looks more like a hammer than a than like this. It's so freaking cool that you can actually watch this. Can it go farther? Can it go farther? No, it can't. All right. You can actually hold both. Now, of course, it will make her a little top forward heavy, I'd say, but you can have her hold both. If that is not an achievement, I don't know what is, because that right there, I was not expecting her to hold both. And style comparison next to his badass husband. Her husband. What the fuck? Did I just say his fuck? I hate this. I hate misgendering it. It, it really brings the pain of my day. So, yeah, there is that. Let's bring in Tarn. No, don't fall off. What are you doing here? No, no, hold up. Don't fall off. Come on. And bring in Tarn. You can clearly see there's some differences there. Bring in Optimus. She can't really stand that well. Bringing in Ultra Magnus. Aka the one who had that forge in the first place. RC. Prime RC. And for an elephant, slipstream. All right. 
right, so now if we're getting the luxes and whatnot, first up, let's bring in, let's bring in our Spark Alita, because why not? Let's bring in our Spark Alita, why not? I mean, she's technically a deluxe size, because the warrior class was still. Bring in Megatron. For Voyagers, we have Optimus. And then, Leader Class, again. Well, I mean, we have this guy, of course. But we also have Scourge, which... <laughs> What the hell? Don't come near me. Jesus Christ, Solus. That's it, so we'll just take this off. And for transformation, you don't need the hands. So I could finally, you know, put that to the side and all that. So. Yeah, it should be fun. Oh, come on, stand. Stand. There we go. And it seems like after recording for so long, all day, the last but not least, certainly not least due to her standing in the God world, is Solus. So, how to transform her first... I suggest transforming her legs. Just shift these. This one shifts all you need. And put the put the peg in like there. And kind of dislocate this back section. That's gonna be important. So that at the same time also disconnects all of this brings it out so now Solus essentially is coming apart so you're gonna need to spin this around 180 like so and bring the arms down like that bring the shoulder pauldrons up and make sure that the hands are aligned like this. This is where it comes with the heart, with the tricky part. You're going to need to fold these out, bring these out and around, and just leave it like that for now. And after you push these back into their right spot, you're going to essentially fold this all the way back over so the windshield is now up and ready for vehicle mode at the same time her head has to be split apart this is this is so it's like this So now it's all coming together. Um, you got these tiny pegs that are going to slot in on, well, after you get all this aligned properly. You got these tiny pegs that are going to align right here on these sides. Okay, maybe not. Everything has to be aligned. Everything has to be aligned and flat. What am I doing wrong?
Okay. Okay, so I think I got it all aligned. There we go. So it's like that now. The head comes a little tricky part. Essentially what you want to do is make sure that it is flush and flat like that. These arms are going to Make sure it's flat like that, and my god, have I been doing this off screen for a while now? So now you're going to fold these arms up completely. And tuck them in. Like so. The exact same thing on your side. Fold them up completely. Tuck them in. So now that we have all of this situated, we can bring these legs up and we can turn these 180. These are going to slide into this cavity right here. And these are going to peg on the back like this. Finally, this just collapses over this. And one class slice like that. So, can still roll. That was a doozy, but we are done with Solus. And the end of all of our reviews that we've done so far, because clearly I've been doing this out of order when recording, but you know what, heck with it. Thank you all for watching, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and as always, to all our one.